how to burn and dodge your images using AI and curves adjustment layers. Yo, what's up my brother, what's up my sister? This is your boy Oscar Ntege again with yet another amazing video. Which I'm going to basically show you how to add more shape, dimension and depth to the image using two techniques and two methods. The first is going to be AI powered, then the other technique is going to be using curves adjustment layers. Let me begin with this AI tool, but at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you which one I use in particular and why I find this particular technique to be the best one. So make sure you watch this video till the end so that you get my opinion and how you can take your photos to the next granular level. Let's dive into this. When you look at this image, I've already done actually skin retouching and all the basic frequency separation on it. So the next thing that is remaining right now is for me to do basic color correction and of course add in a bit of depth into the whole image. So what am I going to do? I'm just going to come and create a layer right on top here and then I'm just going to rename this uh, depth okay right here. So in order for me to add dimension what do I do? I just click onto this layer, I come into filter I come into retouch for me. By the way, if you want to test this particular plugin, click the link in the description below and you download the free frequency separation plugin. That is going to do the magic for you. So you come here and click retouch for me frequency separation. Just like that. So here we are. Now we have this particular section here. This is where all the magic happens. Now in the basic frequency separation, as I mentioned, this works on the textures of the image and this works on basically the blemishes and removing all those uneven skin tones. The low frequencies here are going to work on the depth of the image. So what we do, you just come, you either increase, you know, when you increase them, you add more depth and dimension to the image. Look at how amazing this thing comes out. Look, do you see how this comes out? So if you want maybe the highlights to pop, I just actually increase it just above here and then I come and also if I want the highlights to pop I could just come and extend it a bit towards this side and just expand it further towards this side. Look at how amazing that is. Look at that guys in just a few clicks we already have the depth of the image increased. If I want the effect I've applied here to be even more emphasized they just come here and click the blend tool in order for me to even emphasize that effect more. Look at that, you know, but I don't want to crush the blacks. So what do I do? I just come and, you know, just turn it off just a little bit. Uh, I'm sorry if you're hearing background sound. It's 5.35 a.m. in the morning. That's when I'm doing this video. People are leaving for work. That's why you're hearing sound. Back to the tutorial. I'm going to antique this particular make layer. So I'm just going to come here and say apply just like that. See how it has happened. Now we have depth in the whole image. Now that's the before and that's the after. That's the before and that's the after. That's the before and that's the after. Before and after. And when you look at it somehow the image has turned into that yellowish color. So what do we do about this? So I just come here into adjustments layers and get it the hue through the hue saturation. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to create a clipping mask over this so that I create an effect that goes just over here, right here. And I'm just going to come into here, the saturation, and I'm just going to come and just punch down the saturation just a little bit. You know, I, I just do this to my test so that the picture doesn't look too, too yellow. Like that, just like that. And 18 would look at this. So it is from that to that. So I'm just going to put this in a group so that we look at the before and after, okay? That's the before, it was all flat and that's the after. Before, after, before, after. Let me just come and, or maybe just increase this just a little bit because I feel I want to have more dimension before and after, before and after. Now the advantage with this particular AI tool is that uh, it automatically detects the highlights and it also detects the shadows and it gives them that color field. Now the next thing I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you how to use curves adjustment layers to get results close to this. 
Before we dive into this video, please take a minute to subscribe to this channel, give this video a thumbs up and of course, leave comments below of what exactly has resonated with you. And if you're a beginner photographer or even an advanced photographer and you want to take your retouching to the next level and you want to master retouching, create those high-end fashion magazine quality images, click the first link in the description below and join the Retouching Secrets Masterclass today. Let's get into the tutorial already. This has been done by AI. We are going to compare both results, okay? So now, I'm just going to remove it now and go back to our original image. Now, if you're using curves adjustment layers, you come here in two, you click on two curves, you say curves right there, okay? So we want the effects to af affect only the shadows. So I just come into my create just in the center there and then just pull this down like this. Okay, so we are, this is going to be for the shadows, okay. Then we are also going to create a second curves adjustment layer here as well, right there. And we are going to rename this highlight, okay. So I just come and increase the highlights. Actually. I just click, I will just click up here so that it only affects the highlight so that uh, the effect is mostly about this right there. Okay. So here you think that the first thing we are going to do, let's first now work on the shadow zones. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to come and double click onto this. And when you double click, this window is going to open and you're going to get onto the blend if. So how do we use blend if this is blend if so what are we going to do now we want only and only to affect the shadow areas we want this particular effect that we've applied onto the curves, curves adjustment layer to only and only affect the shadow zones so we don't want any highlight to have any of this color so what do we do you come onto the highlight zone of this side and you first pull this towards this side and you make sure that you don't see any of that effect in the highlight zones. You see how it automatically detects the highlight? Then when you look at this particular piece, it has, oops, sorry, the, when you look at this particular piece, it has, uh, it, it, look, it looks very, very graphical. So how do we remove this graphical feel? You press Alt or Option on your keyboard and then you click onto this particular icon here and then you drag it forward just like this and then you move these accordingly so that it begins blending in so that you get that gradual kind of uh, feel like that okay now we've worked on the shadow zones let me show you that's the before that's the after before and after so how do we work on the highlights now you click onto the highlights right there then you still double click okay now we don't want this particular effect to be in the shadow areas we only want those highlights to be in the highlight zone so what do we do we erase all these high these particular highlights from the shadow areas how do we do you come onto this and you say hey i don't want this highlight in the shadow area so remove them so i just come and click this and I drag it forward and I erase all those from the shadow zones and make sure it's only and only affecting the highlights. So the next thing I'm going to do, still, it has that graphical feel. So how do we undo the graphical feel? Like always, press Alt on your keyboard and O option if you're using a Mac and then drag this forward just like that. Isn't this amazing? And then you drag this back as well, just like that that okay you know actually you can do as many curves adjustment layers as possible for your particular thing so i'll just come and put this in a group and we're going to rename this c curves adjustment i'll call them card curves adjustments let's look at this that's the before, that's the after, before and after, before and after. We can actually come and also erase it away from the eyes. You just click onto this and then you click, you create an adjustment layer just right next to it. 
and then we are going to come and get our brush press caps lock so that the brush is visible and we just erase it away from our brush i'll increase the opacity and flow here just get it off the eyes you know into those zones where i, re I don't really want it so that the eyes are more emphasized away from the eyes i'll like oops sorry press and then away from the eyes so that i keep it strictly around the skin zones now i'm just going to come and reduce the opacity just a little bit so that it doesn't look overly done you know that paintery feel it's what i don't want so i just come and look look at the before and look at the after before and after now let us look at what the ai gave us before and after before and after now let's have a side-by-side -side comparison of these both results okay now here is a side-by-side -side comparison now this particular one was done by ai and this particular one was done by curves adjustments now this is the way we have been doing it and this is how ai does its global burning and dodging I don't know what you think now this is what I think now when you look at this particular one in terms of colors let's look at colors the colors are well blended because when you look at the gradation between shadows and highlights you really see that beautiful blend between those warm tones those copper and bronze tones that tone of variety you get the colors blending into one another very very well actually it is very very seamless in my opinion if you were to do this with the curves adjustment layer just painting over removing the science and removing all that color cast it would take you hours and hours but ai has done this thing automatically for us how amazing is that isn't that amazing guys now in terms of color definitely the ai wins this then when you look at when we used curves adjustment layers yes we can do the same thing get the same results using curves adjustment layers of course you get into the rgbs and all that and begin painting over all those color casts and the like but it would take us hours and nobody wants to take really all that time into blending colors and getting skin tones right but this ai tool has showed us that hey we can do this automatically we can detect the variety of skin tones within the skin and give you this thing seamlessly guys this is super super powerful okay now this one has that kind of hdr look where it shows everything everything basically it gives it that pale look and it misses that chiaroscuro element that one you see in the renaissance paintings in the baroque paintings you know it doesn't have that kind of feel in my opinion Truth be told, I would settle down for this AI version as compared to the curves adjustment version. Reason being, I can always go back and bring back all these things if I have a lot of time on my hands and all the like. And the fact that it automatically detects highlights, midtones, and shadows in just one click. Now, this is what makes this whole thing magical. It makes the portrait even more present for my style and feel of course the ai wins first of all you're going to save a lot of time because if to, you're to achieve these similar results using curves adjustment layers it would require you to, to have almost over if you are to use curves adjustment layers to get these similar results in terms of skin tones man it would require you to take all those particular colors in into consideration but here AI has detect, detected even the pinks. It has detected the oranges, the, the browns, and all that. Here we have a variety of skin tones. The skin tones have been blended so well. So that is my opinion. So if you want to put this particular AI plugin to a test, of course, click the first link in the description. It's not the first link. No, it is the link is in the description below and if you've not yet joined the retouching secrets masterclass and you want to take your photography to the next granular level and learn how to use all these tools man click the first link in the description below 
and join the retouching secrets masterclass and be like the thousands of photographers that are taking their photography to the next level i'll see you in the next one and adios